Unfortunately for Captain James Cook, here's this mugshot just before he was executed on 14th of February 1779. Uh -huh. today we are going to visit the Queen we are going to visit the Queen we're not actually the Queen we're going to visit her house Buckingham yes. Palace so we thought we'll show you a bit of the journey uh, yes yeah, but unfortunately we actually can't go inside um, the Buckingham Palace because we lost um, the key <laughs> no because they're actually um, not open um, to the public until um, in July so um, we'll uh, try we're just going to walk around the outside of the of the palace Take some really good shots, but um, this is where we're staying at the moment. We're staying at our friend's house in a place called Canary Wharf, which is just outside of London. It takes about 20 minutes on the train, so it's very, it's still very central. Very central. So we're going to show you how easy it is to go from Canary Wharf to Buckingham Palace, and then uh, we'll see what's there. Yeah. This is exciting. All right, we'll show you in a minute. So this area, Pat, how would you describe it? It's like a business district, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so basically this is just a five minute walk from where we're staying in uh, Providence Wharf. So this is actually um, Canary Wharf, um, which I believe um, was built about maybe 10, 15 years ago. Is that right? Yeah. So it's all, it's all banking and finance sector around here. Um, and I just love how all these canals are kind of surrounding the whole area it's just beautiful and um, I just want to quickly just show that like some of the residents um, around here are obviously enjoying their time a typical summer's day here in London um, and um, I don't know whether you can actually see it but um, see if I can zoom in in the bikinis <laughs> Hmm, right, it's not even a warm day. You can see by the video that it's a very grey, typical London day. And there's these girls in this round ring in their bikinis going down. Um... Yeah, it's very strange. But they look like they're having a good time, so that's the main thing. through the park now it feels rather posh like I didn't expect this straight out of the station yes it's very green I can't see uh, the Queen walking her corgis or anything so <laughs> it's because we're just on the outskirts ah. until you get there oh and hopefully we're actually because we're not very good at um, 
researching and you know looking at looking up for special events but um, there's a changing of the guards and we don't know what time that happens <laughs> we'll find out anyway <laughs> they'll wait for us I'm sure yes. uh, they'll wait for us I can hear band uh, uh, that's probably uh, not the palace's band but um yeah, uh, there's definitely something going on in there. Uh, from the looks of it, it's not it's not very busy, which is which is good. It's only a Wednesday today. Is so it Wednesday? It's a Wednesday, so oh. it's midweek. Um, I love the trees, which I think we've tied it pretty well. Um, but yeah, we're we're really looking forward to um, seeing it. David's never been here. I've been here before, but many many years ago. Um, but what I don't see. Um, in this park there are um, flowers. No, but lots flowers. of beautiful, very mature trees. Yeah, just trees and, and lawn and that's Lots it. of lawn. So being a New Zealander, you know, part of the Commonwealth, I think it's uh, quite a big deal coming to see Buckingham Palace. Yes, and oh god. Okay, well there's not many people here in the park. But uh, straight ahead I can see thousands. They're so. all over there, but you know, everyone's wanted to um, get a glimpse, just just like what, we, what we're trying to do, so... Let's go and see why they're looking at something. Let's go and find out. Let's go. I wonder if we got, I wonder if our key fits the gate. I love all the trim, all the little details. We can see a lot of people arriving, so there must be a party in there today. We weren't invited, unfortunately, so we can't show you the inside. Unfortunately, we've lost our key to the front door, so... Yeah, but just around, like, the avenue in front, I think that whole thing there was uh, did a, uh, a gift from New Zealand. I think because it says that on the front two pillars there, so I'm not too sure. I have to do some homework for you. But the front gates are incredible. The sheer size of them as well. It's actually a beautiful looking building. As you can see all around us too, a lot of people are doing exactly what we are. Just everyone's out and about having a look, trying to get that perfect photo opportunity of Buckingham Palace. It's one of those things that's on the bucket list when you're growing up. It's one of those things you often see on the television as well and think, wow, I have to get there one day. So today is the day we have made it. Hey, welcome. Today we're going to show you something a little bit different, a little bit of a historical site here in London, which is Greenwich. We're actually standing in a tunnel that goes underneath the Firth of Thames. It was built in 1901. During 1940, during September the 8th and 9th, this tunnel was actually bombed. And as you can see, they had to do some structural repairs to, uh, to fix it, to stop it leaking. So let's go walk through the tunnel. We can't wait to show you this whole historic town.
tower that we've just walked under the Thames, you come to this incredible site of this beautiful ship called the Cully uh, Shark, built in 1861. So originally when it was first built, it was built for the tea run from London to India and back, and the ship that could bring the tea back the fastest got the most pay. After that, it's been many years going from London to Sydney, London to Brisbane to collect wool from those harbours. Unfortunately, in 2007, during its renovation, it caught on fire where it was almost totally destroyed. Luckily, most of the equipment was off site, so they managed to restore this beautiful ship at a cost of 35 million. What a sight! It's the only one, uh, there's only two left in the world this one, and there's one in Adelaide of the same class. Impressive. actually your birthday. It's my birthday as well. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look very happy in the shot. No, I mean... It looks, it, quite, it looks quite annoyed. It would be. Yeah, let's go look. Hello from the Royal Observatory here at Greenwich. So this is where east meets west. So the uh, uh, latitude of zero degrees is right here. Um, so it's pretty interesting. So they had to set this point on the world map so then they can map the world sky. So east meets west right here. And if you can span the camera around, Pat, you'll see a beautiful obser observatory on the hill here. With an amazing view of uh, East London in the foreground. And the other interesting pack uh, here too is they've got all the uh, royal measurements for the British Yard, two feet, one foot, six yeah. inches, etc. So in the old days, if you were confused, you can come here and take the uh, royal measurement, which is really, really interesting. Mm. Over here, you have to pay to come in here. We haven't got enough time to go and show you. But here you'll see the, uh, the line which uh, separates uh, west with east. So very interesting for us who travel. Absolutely. So, I think that concludes our little update from us here um, today. I hope you enjoyed all that. So, till then, have a good week viewers. See you again. Okay, so we're going to talk really quietly because we are in the National Art Gallery of England. This place is massive. Yes. Like all around, around us, hey, we can see paintings like four, five, six, seven hundred years old. And there's three floors of them and multiple rooms on each level. So <laughs> it's pretty full on. It's pretty full on. You could spend days in here and not see everything. So. And um, there's not many people here. Oh, there's a lot of people, but they're not like, you know, kind of shoulder to shoulder. So no. we're just taking our time um, trying to see everything. But it's impossible. It's impossible, and my face starts to hurt. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's lovely. There's so, so many amazing pictures. Um, it is incredible to watch some of the detail in these paintings. It's literally like photographs within here. So. <laughs> 